Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Pauline RN. I am doing today nursing assessment tips. We have nursing assessment tips out there. There's a video. I have part one and part two questions and answers to that video. Now I'm doing questions and answers and this is part three. Please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Thank you. My first question, what is the meaning of portal entry bacteria? The correct answer, portal entry, is bacteria entering the skin. How do we measure edema in the skin? How do we measure edema in the skin. Correct answer, one plus edema is barely pitting. Two plus edema is deeper pitting, rebound in seconds. Three plus edema is deep pitting, 10 to 20 seconds. Four plus edema is deep pitting, rebounds, in greater than 30 seconds. Okay, my next question. How often should your, your male clients do their testicular examination? Testicular examination. The correct answer is the same date of each month. Your testicular examination, the patient should do it preferably in a warm shower with soapy hands. My next question for the ladies. The ladies should do monthly breast self-examinations. That's the, the question is, what are they checking for? And the correct answer, the ladies are checking for lumps in their breasts. How they do they do it? They do it by squeezing their nipples. They are checking for discharges and they are using the pads of their finger assessing for lumps in their breasts. How do you assess for gag reflex? How do you assess for gag reflex? By inserting tongue blades at the back of the throat. Or you can use a soft cotton application. Next assessment, how do you do your cardiac assessment? Your patient comes in complaining for chest pain. What will be your cardiac assessment for this patient? The correct answer you're gonna check you're gonna assess the location of your car your pain location when it occurs intensity of the pain the type of pain the duration of the pain pain with or without exertion radiation of your pain for cardiac assessment assessment should be you're going to assess for shortness of breath, sweating that the patient may start displaying. Chest pain is an emergency. For cardiac assessment, we will assess anxiety of your patients. For cardiac assessment for patient with chest pain, the doctor will order nitroglycerin sublingual, which will be placed under the tongue. For chest pain, a nitroglycerin is a PRN order for chest pain. Chest pain in the emergency room or on the floor 
is an emergency. Call the meds team. It's an emergency. Call your doctor. Okay, what does respiratory assessment consist of? For your respiratory assessment, it consists of inspection, palpation, percussion, auscultation, comprehensive health history. We are assessing on this patient. When we do a respiratory assessment, we need a comprehensive health history. Um, for respiratory assessment, some patients can be maybe working in a coal mine, exposure to toxins. We have to do a comprehensive health history. Health history, are you COPD, are you asthma patient? When you're doing a respiratory assessment of your patient, compares the right side to the left side. If you're listening to the left lung, compare it to the right lung. When you're doing a respiratory assessment, the approach should be is to compare your findings between left and the right side. My next question is, when you're doing a respiratory assessment of your patient, what should you do? And the correct answer is, after checking your patient's pulse, do not let the patient know you're doing a respiratory assessment. After checking your patient's pulse so that patient does not alter their breathing, count one full minute. Look, listen, and feel. Assessment. Look, Listen and feel. For respiratory assessments, we are doing one full minute. You're doing your checking your patient's pulse. And after you're finished checking your patient's pulse, you're not letting the patient know that you're checking the, the breathing. The patient does not know because we do not need an alteration in the patient's breathing. You still hold the pulse even though you're finished checking the pulse and you look, you, you look, listen and feel your patient's breathing. You look at the rising and the lowering of the patient's chest. You assess your patient's breathing for one full minute. For lung assessment, there are four steps. What are your four steps in lung assessment? The correct answer is as inspection, palpation, percussion and auscultation with your stethoscope. What is wheezing? Correct answer, wheezing is a high-pitched sound produced by narrowed airway. Patients with wheezing, we can notify the doctor there will be an order maybe for albuterol, breathing treatments. The respiratory therapists are the ones who come and give your patients breathing treatments to help to open the airway. These medications open the narrowed airway. Name four respiratory sounds is the question. What are your four respiratory sounds? And answers are rolls, ronchi, stridor, and wheezing.
What is the orthropnea position? What is the orthropnea position? The correct answer, patient is experiencing difficulty breathing. For example, your COPD patients, your patients with asthma, they will sit at the side of the bed, legs dangling towards the floor, arms towards the table, overhead table, to allow the lungs to expand. So the arms will be towards the overhead table to allow lungs expansion. They sit on the side of the bed, legs dangling to the floor, arms over the overhead table, across the overhead table, allows lung expansion. This is the orthropnea position. Next question, what are barrel chests? What is barrel chest? The correct answer for patients with COPD, you'll see these patients, they will have barrel chest due to hyperinflation of the lungs. Next question. What are clubbing of your fingertips? What are clubbing of your fingertips? And these are enlargement of the tips of the fingers due to chronic hypoxia. Clubbing of tips of the fingers are enlargement of the tips of the fingers due to chronic hypoxia. Next question, what is plural rub? Plural rub is heard either inspiration or expiration. Sounds like rubbing together of leather. Plural rub is inflammation of the lung pleura. Please like, subscribe, please share this video. Have a blessed day. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Thank you.